Hello, Natron Nation. This is your admin, Omar Brown, speaking, coming to you live from Euclid, Ohio. It's a suburb of Cle Cleveland, USA. Tonight, I'll ask, tonight, I'm going to be talking about this two new plugins that were developed by a developer by the name of Ole Andre Wodel. Rodel I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name right. If you're listening, Ole, or if I'm even pronouncing your first name right, it's spelled O L E. I'm saying Ole. Or old. Nevertheless, thank you for developing these two programs. I'm two nodes I'm about to discuss. Well, one node I'm about to discuss in one detail, but the two nodes are called or entitled Read SVG, and the other node is Read PSD. Now, the good thing about the Read PSD, not only that it reads Photoshop files, it also read GIMP XCF files. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start dragging in some of these individual files. First, I'm going to drag in a GIMP file. No, I'm sorry. These particular nodes are specialized, so you have to go to the read node. I'm going to drag in the read PSD. But as you can see here too, it has the read SVG. Now for those who's not aware or unaware of this other note, read node that's in it called the read PFM, those are files that are designed to well this note is designed to read high dynamic range file formats and those what they are uh, say for instance uh, well they are special um, files that usually end in an HDI um, or HRI I think it's HDI file, file formats that stand for high dynamic range imaging so that's what that note right there is for later that's an, another uh, tutorial but for right now let's go ahead and without further ado to read and load the read PSD node now I have it already set up to go to my desktop so let's click on the PSD this right here let's go to the two Now, you notice that in there I had like a 1 and then there's a version 2. Reason being, because when I first um, did this recording, I had did a recording of how it looks inside GIMP when I had drew the uh, layer mask and laid these two images on top of each other. And then I applied the layer mask to this particular layer here, layer 1. This was the top layer and this was the bottom layer so what I want to do now is you can see here this is an X even though it's the read note says read PSD again in this section here you can see it says GIMP.XCF it reads the GIMP files it reads the multiple layer files but unfortunately it does not give me the name of those particular layers so if you have like 10 to 15 20 layers you have to constantly keep going through each one to try to find the proper layer that you're looking for. You know, it's not a it's not a showstopper, but it does slows down the workflow a little bit because you have to you have to constantly remember well what layer is 36 or what layer is 27 or whatever the case may be. Because some matte paintings that you may be doing may require hundreds of layers, or up to a hundred layers. You know, so it'd be nice to have it. Where is that the GIMP file? We'll be able to save that metadata into the XCF file, so when it opens up in a program like Natron, it won't load, it won't give us the layer one, layer two, layer three. It actually gives the name of the layers that be named inside the GIMP file. So I don't know if that's a GIMP issue or if that's a read PSD issue. So I'm I would um, go on a limb and say I think it's a GIMP XCF file issue. Cause now, like I said, I just loaded in this. Um, XCF file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this node. I'm going to paste it. And this particular node, I'm going to double click it, make it active, come up, click, and I'm going to open up this particular node here that says our PSD Textures Alpha. Load that up. Now I'm going to send it to input 2. And as you can see, they have the same. Um, just double click on this. Same as layer zero. 
but if you double click on when I double click on this particular though and you look over here in the PDF no I'm sorry I keep saying PDF in the Photoshop file the layer names are maintained so if we click on mountains as you see right here if I click on Photoshop textures bolts rust this right here shows up now if I click on default it shows the layer mask that I apply to the bolts layer so that the background layer can come through now it doesn't seem like it's uh, so much of a layer mask that's been applied because when I drew it when I, well, when I create the layer mask inside GIMP I had an opacity of like 35 45 and then probably 55 60 to draw different areas to give me different effects of the grayscale to apply as an alpha so as you can see here now the GIMP which is this file here the Photoshop is this file here they both open up you see the GIMP file here but the, the only shortcomings I find thus far is that it's not giving me the layer names and the Photoshop file it gives me the layer names okay so what I want to do now since I'm on this particular one number two I'm gonna press the letter A and see if I get an alpha channel that shows through as you can see though it does not show through even with the default because here click on it nothing click on it mountain it shows me alpha channel there but when I come to the default that shows the layers combined together through the ch channel mask I click on alpha and it does not show through so in order for you to, to see the alpha channel you have to go to the particular layer that actually had that mass applied then click on zero and you see all the levels of gray scales here now let's go to number one go well, view input one now this one right here was GIMP 2 now I had applied a layer mask to one of these and as you see in layer 2 it shows but unfortunately as you can see here inside the GIMP file very faint do we see the background coming through a little bit so what needs to happen is that let's see if I apply a merge and then go to a pre-mode it shows a little bit here so apparently the way GIMP um, saves out its alpha channels especially when you create a layer mask and apply the layer mask and the way it saves out the files with its grayscales is a whole lot different than what the Photoshop files um, show visually that's input 1 input 2 input 1 is GIMP file input 2 is the Photoshop files so as you can see both file formats renders the layer um, the layer mask they applied layer mask quite differently so I just want to show you guys that hope you like it, it was, um, I do know that uh, Ole who is developing who's the developers of these nodes are uh, working on um, profiles in these particular sections here because they're not coming up on my well my, I'm on a Mac system so they're not coming up like they're supposed to so he's currently working on these particular nodes and there's other nodes he's working on there too applying uh, put mask inputs into them so when they are available I'll talk about those as well so I hope that this little demonstration give you a little more input insight on the two read nodes the read um, PSD and the read EXCF and also to the read SVG now matter of fact let me just go ahead and just bring that individual file in for you guys go to read SVG on the desktop I know I have an SVG file which is this right here called drawn SVG I did this here inside Inkscape and this is going to input 3 so as you can see this is the SVG file ladies and gentlemen I drew it and there it is and apparently it has a file color face all this stuff here is all good well and good and also too it kept the alpha channels as well so you can use this not only as an image you can use this as a uh, alpha and mat or uh, a mask input can it maintain the alpha channels directly from Inkscape thank you I hope you enjoyed this little quick demo good night